A lot of older computers out there could be used for access to the internet. Although they're not powerhouses, they usually just need a simple addition of a, a network interface card to make them work. Just lay the computer down with the motherboard on the bottom, and each, each computer case will open a little bit differently. This one just has a simple slide, and then the top can be removed. This has four slots, a modem riser slot, two PCI slots, and an old ISA slot. This is a simple tool-free design. We remove the cover. And we remove the, uh, the, the new network interface card from the box. It will come with a driver's card and typically a quick installation guide. Remove it from the packaging. It's always good to be uh, static free on this as well. And then the uh, network interface card gets pushed in, like so. Make sure to get it into place. And then the, uh, oh, there's no screws on this one, so all I have to do is push that back in there. The case can be put back together. And if the device is plug and play, it will automatically be able to load the drivers when you turn the operating system back on. Otherwise, just install the disk, load the drivers, and it's good to go. We'll then use the Ethernet cable, which looks similar to a phone cable with several more connectors. And we'll, in we'll plug it into the back of the new network interface card. If the network interface card or NIC that you've purchased does not have a driver's CD included, you can simply download the driver from the manufacturer's website. You can find the manufacturer's website by searching for the um, searching by the manufacturer name, and that can lead you to their web page. Once you're on their web page, you can go to a support web page, which will typically give you the opportunity to either search for the product model or you can drill down to the actual model you have. This is for a PCI device, which would be an adapter for PCI desktop, and there it is right there, DFE530TX. The system that we're installing that on is Windows 98, which would require us to um, download other uh, support also. Uh, such as antivirus and things of that sort. But all we'd have to do is find the correct driver. This one supports Windows 95 and Windows 98. And we'd hit download now. And then we'd just save that to my documents will be fine or you can do a download folder. After you wait for the download, you can open the file launch it, find the operating system, and perform the setup. And follow the directions for the installation. After you've completed installing your device driver and rebooting the computer, you should be able to come into my, uh, right click on my computer and go to manage, uh, which apparently is not an option here. Well, what we can do is go into properties, hardware, device manager, which will open up all the devices that are currently connected. And we should be able to see the new adapter right here. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show that the new NIC has been installed because it's not in this computer because I don't have Camtasia at home. For those that are adding uh, inter it network interface to an older computer running Windows 98 or Millennium Edition should consider upgrading their operating system or their computer uh, there are certain risks that are in associated with the older operating systems as Microsoft no longer supports their uh, updates for those operating systems. Um, 
if you choose not to update, then you should at least get uh, an antivirus, anti-spyware, and a firewall installed on your computer. Uh, those are available at download.com. Download Under security software, some of the ones I would suggest are AVG or Avast for antivirus, Adaware as a anti as a anti spyware, and then Zone Alarm as a firewall security. Those are all free downloads and free to use, and can help with your security and uh, protection.